Hey, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Today, we're going to compare Nano Banana and Flux Context Pro inside Photoshop. We'll see how each stacks up when given the same source images and identical prompts. Before we get into it, if you haven't downloaded Photoshop Beta yet, open your Creative Cloud app, click Home, Apps, and Beta. All right, so in this example, we're going to ask them to add a shack on this beach. To do this, I'll make a selection around the entire document by pressing Control or Command A. If you don't see the contextual taskbar, go to Window, and at the bottom, click it. In the Prompt field, I'll type in Make a Tropical Grass and Wood Shack with a large opening in front a few feet above the sand. Above it is a large sign with a surfboard on it. The words are Tropical Smoothies. Keep the trees, the beach, and the background as they are. Do not change them. Click on the logo here, which opens our list of Adobe models. At the bottom are the partner models, which are the Flux Context Pro and Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. We'll be comparing these two. We'll start with Nano Banana. Click Generate or press Enter or Return. It takes about 10 or 15 seconds or so to give us the result. Okay, so this is what it did. It did create the shack. It did keep the trees, the beach, and the sand. Everything was in place. The downside to both models is that the images they produce are not high resolution. Adobe might add Sea Dream 4.0, which is 4K. So at some point, they might add that as a partner model. But in the meantime, these two don't. All right, so let's see how Flux Context Pro does. Now, up here, you can see the prompt. So all we need to do is to open the model list and click Flux Context Pro. Then click Generate or press Enter or Return. And we'll see how this stacks up to Nano Banana. So here's the deal. It basically changed the entire scene. However, I have to say that this looks a lot better than what Nano Banana did. Both kept the surfboard at the top and they both kept the shack materials. I like the shack that Flux created, but it didn't use the source photo that I instructed. However, Nano Banana did. Okay, so for this one, we'll see how they do with facial expressions. So I'll open up the Selection Brush Tool. And I find that the softer the brush is, the better the results will be, because one of the glitches that these two models have, at least in Photoshop, is that they tend to kind of slide over a little bit, the final images. So by making your brush a little softer, it kind of hides a lot of that. So that's what we're going to do. To adjust the size of the brush, make sure the Caps Lock key is off, and then press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. I'll brush over the face, and in the contextual taskbar, I'll type in Change Expression to surprise. If you misspell any words, no worries, it knows what you mean. So right now we're using the Nano Banana model and I'll just press enter. All right. Okay. Keeping the same prompt, I'll change the model to Flux Context Pro and click generate. Wow. Which one do you like better? This is the uh, Flux, and this is Nana Banana. So, in my opinion, I like Flux. Next, we're going to compare them to how they deal with text. So, to save time, I already created them, and this is Nana Banana, and this one is Flux Context Pro. Hands down, Nana Banana wins. It casted shadows of each character on the hill's contours, 
as well as correctly positioning each character along the hill's lower ridge, just like the Hollywood sign. On the other hand, Flux didn't do either of those. Next, we're going to change the season of this photo. Now, Neural Filters, as you probably know, does have a filter that can change the seasons. But we're going to see how uh, these two models deal with it. So, I'll press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire document. And I'll type in Change Season to Summer. We'll start with Nano Banana, and I'll click Generate. Well, the first thing I noticed is that it kept everything in their places down to the smallest tree. It placed leaves on all of them, created a worn dirt path, and it kept the time of day. I think the result is much better than the landscape mixer in the neural filters. And just for laughs, I did a comparison of the landscape mixer, and this is what it came up with. All right, so let's see how Flux does. It added sand to the path. I have no idea why it did that. It changed the night to day. I didn't ask to do that. I just wanted to change it to summer. And it doesn't have the leaves on many of the trees. They're kind of brownish, not too summery. It looks kind of weird looking here. So yeah, without a doubt, Nano beats flux in this particular situation. So they both have their pros and cons, and in some cases flux wins like with the expression of the model, nano banana wins with the Hollywood sign, and with the beach scene, I like the flux shack, but it didn't keep the original photo behind it. It created its own. It replaced the trees, the palm trees, the beach, the sand, the whole thing. So, yeah, I mean, they both have their own little glitches, and unfortunately, they both are 1K as of yet. But I think that's going to change fairly soon. So, yeah, I hope this comparison just kind of show you what each can do. And this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Stay safe, take care, and be kind. See you next time.